Um, I now want to uh, take you to uh, just more current social media matters uh, because one of the other things that has happened since the last time you and I have spoke on this program is just how the the social media world has just kind of went to hell. Uh, Elon Musk you know, seems to have completed his final phase of what almost seems like him trying to destroy his company on purpose um, by... Now changing the name of Twitter, this very recognizable brand, probably the second most recognizable brand in all of social media, to X, a name that has like about 100 other companies that have registered trademarks in that field. So he's creating an IP nightmare for himself. Mm -hmm. uh, some, date, uh, some experts have said that just by changing the name from Twitter to X, he has cost his company anywhere between five and $20 billion in value. And meanwhile, while all this is going on, uh, Mark Zuckerberg developed the Threads social media platform as a competitor to Twitter, which uh, just announced uh, on July 24th that they have finally added the following feed. A, you know, oh, because, God, really? Yeah. So because before it was only just a for you feed and people were upset because they only wanted to be able to view, you know, threads, I guess, from the accounts that they follow. But they finally added that following feed. And so. I can't, you know, I'm, I'm still not redownloading it. I almost picked up my phone and I'm like, nope, not doing it. <laughs> well, so that now brings me to my my question for you as, you know, what I like to call a, a recovering social media manager. Fuck. Um, <laughs> we're kind of in this place right now. Indie creators are kind of in this place right now where they might see they might not see a future in Twitter anymore. And they might not see the future in threads that they once thought they did. I think a lot of people were of the position maybe two, three weeks ago that threads was going to be something that was going to have a lot of traction. Certainly, it came out of the box big. And since then, the engagement numbers have dropped a little bit. Uh, people are saying it's not a great place for organic growth. And so there are a lot of creators out there who probably feel like they are people without a country. Like, oh, Twitter's not really there anymore. Threads isn't what I need it to be. Maybe I don't have the biggest Instagram account in, you know, to go onto that platform. If you're an artist, like, what do you do in this spot? Like where, you, you know, you're kind of at a social media crossroads with everything that's going on right now with Zuckerberg and Musk. It's it it sucks because we are at the mercy of two children <laughs> using public like y utilities that have been used for global uprisings as freaking action figures that they're smashing together and breaking apart to try to be better than the other one and and we are the folks that get to suffer um because of these billionaires playing with their toys. And I picked a great time to not be a social media manager anymore. <laughs> I hate that there are people having to edit all of their URLs on all of their brand sites. They have to edit all of the little T's and the little birds out of every logo out of I'm, I am, I am apoplectic. And as a creator, it is again, same thing that, you know, we had seen with like Facebook gaming and Mixer and, you know, rest in peace Mixer, which, by the way, is one of the like X's is, I think, like the source of that X logo, which is a very interesting. It seems like they, they came from like a similar font library or something yeah. Yeah. Um, or or it reverted to meta when Facebook gaming like took over Mixer's partners. I don't even know, but it's even more of a sign to never put your eggs all in one basket. Do not be a TikTok creator. Do not be a YouTuber. Be a film critic. Be an artist. Be a musician, not a musician on X platform because they own all of that content and it can disappear. Um, all of your links will be broken. Um, and I can definitely see all the more reason for folks using those channels as more of a promotional tool, but then maybe the actual creation um, and some of that access that you have with your fans going to more private curated places like Patreon community feeds or discords, um, more curated communities um, that are m m maybe easily 
put up a bull on a link tree for folks to find, but you really got to have a shotgun approach, not be too precious with the way that you're creating content on any platform, because literally next week, who the heck knows? I just can't understand. I can't fathom what's happening with Twitter and how much value it's lost in such a short period of time. You know, I, I don't think like if you put me in charge of Twitter, Oof. like let's, let's say, <laughs> let's say Elon Musk buys Twitter, what it was like a year ago or something yeah. and puts me in charge as CEO and says to me, Ryan, your job is to do everything you can on purpose to destroy <laughs> this company and bring its value to zero. I don't think I could have, if, if that was my task, I don't think I could destroy Twitter as fast on purpose as Elon Musk is doing, presumably by accident, despite the fact that he seems to be trying his best. It's wild because now, like at least now the way that I experience social media, it's I am now a a sort of fractured stained glass uh, of a, you know, stained glass piece of art of a human where if you want to see this part of me, you go to Tumblr. And if you want to see this part of me, you go to Instagram. But then if you want to see this part of me, you go to TikTok. And, you know, thankfully, I would highly recommend, you know, anyone and everyone to squat on your own domain names, your own dot coms um, that you can at least so that you have some one stop shop that you can give someone that you yourself have ownership of the content of um, to be able to point people to um, so that they can see where it is that you're doing what you're doing, because these platforms do not care about you <laughs> or your art. Oh, look at that. Elisa Melendez dot com. <laughs> That's Ryan Corella dot com. Ryan Corella dot com. <laughs> We can. <laughs> Thank God. There we go. And, <laughs> hey. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, it's it's it sucks because people are flailing, and you know, and it and it sucks for writers because they can't necessarily translate their situation to TikTok. Folks on Instagram are finding that like, oh, on threads, it's text space. And it's like, no, maybe you were popular on Instagram because of the sort of visual component or the videos that you were making. But maybe your, you know, your steez doesn't necessarily translate to text. Um, you have to be nimble and get your sea legs in in this industry. Um, I, I do not envy anyone who is still working in this capacity professionally officially <laughs> you have my love you have my solidarity but you will not have my sword i am not coming back <laughs> <laughs>